Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new Mech Spotlight episode. It's been a while. I'm glad we can get together for another one of these. Likewise, and today we'll be looking at a scout mech, Slingshot. Sounds interesting. Fill me in. As always, let's start with the basics. Slingshot is a scout with an excellent speed of 29 kilometers per hour and a decent maximum energy capacity of 24. With speed like that, it can outrun almost anything, and its energy capacity gives it enough firepower to dish out some serious pain. Neat! A combo of mobility and firepower is always great. Yep, and it gets better when you take Force Dash into account. Oh, what's that? That's Slingshot's ability. When activated, Slingshot propels forward and slams into obstacles or enemies, dealing damage in a small radius. Awesome! What kind of numbers are we looking at? Just above 22.5k at max level, which is plenty to deliver a finishing blow to a low HP target. And it's not going to be pleasant for anyone in the lower divisions. That's true. And I bet you can use Force Dash to increase the mech's mobility further and zip across the battlefield. You can do that for sure. In fact, it's one of the best tactics for Slingshot. Just move around quickly, attacking weak spots in the enemy team's defenses and taking over control points. But be careful. Slingshot isn't that tough and usually won't fare all that well in face-to-face -face combat with frontline mechs. You'll need to train your awareness and know when and where to strike to the best effect. All right, that sounds reasonable enough. Should I tailor my weapon picks to those tactics as well? You've got plenty of good options for Slingshot, whether you want to be sneaky or not. Javelins and Helix Racks are great if you want to move around quickly and strike from afar. Missile Racks and Disc Launchers work pretty well to maximize burst damage when coupled with Force Dash. What about Close Quarters? That really depends on the division you're in. Early on, it's a good idea to slam in and destroy enemies with a combination of force dash damage and something like shotguns or fragment guns. But later, you'll start getting in trouble because of Slingshot's low HP. So I'd say choose your loadout based on that. You'll definitely have more success in high divisions if you use this mech as a mobile weapons platform. That makes sense. Do you have any other useful tips to keep in mind? Mostly just a recap of what I said before. Pick your battles, keep a low profile when needed, and avoid direct fights against tougher mechs. With high speed and force dash, you should have no trouble running circles around most enemies or going deep behind the lines to wreak havoc there. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, huh? Pretty much. One last thing. Slingshot is an uncommon mech aimed at new players. While you can absolutely find a place for it in your squad later on, there are other mechs such as Killshot, its epic grade sibling, and the legendary Surge, both of which have a similar playstyle but are more durable and have other perks. So take this as an opportunity to learn the ropes of aggressive scout mech tactics. Slingshot sure sounds like a fun little mech to play around with. It sure is. Only thing to do now is get into the game and try it for yourself. Let's get to it then. As for all of you guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, tell us what you think of Slingshot in the comments, and subscribe to our channel to keep an eye on all things Mech Arena. See you next time. Bye. Bye.